Can you become a millionaire as a blue collar worker? Absolutely. There's some things that I've learned over the years and I want to share my journey with you. There's a quote that I love. Success is more attitude than aptitude. I'm actually sitting outside of one of my flip houses right now. So let's get into this video. All right, so let's jump into it. How do you really become a millionaire? And there's different avenues, obviously, that you can take. I wanna share a little bit of my story about where I'm heading because it's a little different than what you would normally see with suit and tie in the business world, climbing the corporate ladder. In today's society, I think there's so many different ways to make money, a lot more ways than there used to be. That's hands down for sure. And my story starting six years ago literally broke on a couch with nothing, building pallet projects, which there's a video below if you wanna see pallets that I used to build. And I, I literally had nothing. I went through some, some weird job phases before just trying to find my life after quitting baseball because of injury. So trying to find my life, I was broke, started building things, had a little bit of construction knowledge and, and started to grow a business from there. The biggest thing that I wish I had learned early on was how to invest money what to do with money once you have it, how to do taxes, right? All these things really aren't taught in the public school system, which I, I highly regret and God bless my parents, but if you're not taught that from your family, you're really not gonna be taught it unless you have other friends or influence people in your life that are gonna teach you these, these core values in terms of finances that will help you grow and level up and become a millionaire. So like I said, when I started out, I, I literally had nothing and becoming anything financially wasn't even on the radar. It was more just, how can I make money? How can I survive? But when I did start to make a decent amount of money, let's say over six figures, I did start to put my money into different assets. I put it into the stock market. I've invested in cryptocurrency. And the biggest thing that's probably gonna be no surprise is investing in real estate. Real estate has been something that I'm continuing to invest in, but it's something that can grow your wealth quite quickly, way more than any normal job could. But the biggest thing that I want you to understand is you gotta work hard now and, and build up that, that base, that foundation of finances before you can actually start investing in other assets like real estate. Real estate's not the only thing that you have to get into or have to own or acquire to become a millionaire, but I do believe in having multiple streams of income. So just on a personal level, I have Timber USA, which is my construction carpentry business. I have this YouTube channel. I have the TikTok. I have real estate investments that I'm working on right now. And I'm just now monetized on YouTube, which is another avenue. And then I'm starting to do some other brand deals and, and, and flipping trucks. I mean, there's a lot of ways that you can make money and use your time wisely to build up your, your cash, build up your nest. One of the biggest things that you can do right now is figure out what your passion is, figure out what's unique about you and start a business around that. That's one of the biggest ways you can leverage yourself, brand yourself, whether you're selling a service or a product to be able to level up and start making more money. By doing that, I did that for myself with Halverson Decor back in the day and now Timber USA and creating a brand, creating momentum that allows me to charge my money, which then allows me to invest in other things, acquiring assets. This is definitely the best way, in my opinion, doesn't matter where you've come from, what your background is, how old you are. If you can create businesses, get behind them, then try to get people to help you and build a team around these businesses. This is gonna be the best way in order to level up on your income, allow you to gain assets, which and then is gonna allow you to grow your net worth. And by the way, becoming a millionaire in these days doesn't mean that you've made it. A million dollars doesn't really go a long way. You can't retire really just on a million dollars as far as living off that the rest of your life. You gotta keep investing, keep having smart recurring incomes that are gonna cover your living expenses. I don't think that in today's society, becoming a millionaire is really something that's that hard to do. Again, I think there's so many ways that you can make money. Now people are talking about the metaverse and creating NFTs. In the tech field alone, there's just so many different avenues to make a lot of money. You see a lot of these kids, 18, 19 years old, that are making a ton of money by doing NFTs or starting YouTube channels or podcasts. And it can be frustrating to people that have been in the trades working their ass off, but you can't compare yourself again i've heard it said that comparison is the thief of joy so don't worry about what other people are doing all you can do is focus on yourself your work ethic your mentality and everyday wake up 
asking yourself, how can I do better today? How can I improve on my business, on myself, on my relationships, on my family today? And that's the key to growing not only your life, but your finances as well. All right, so let's just go over a quick step-by-step -step basis. If you're just starting brand new, you have no money, and you wanna see what that path even looks like for you to becoming a millionaire, again, I'd say step one is start a business and, and do something that you love and that makes money. You can't do something that you love that doesn't pay, and you can't do something that you hate that pays well because you'll just hate your life and that this whole thing will just be a waste. So I, I'm a big believer in doing what you love. So find where that path is. So start a business around that, and I'd say in the next three years, try to save $100,000 or try to save enough at least to put down on a property and buy a piece of real estate. Now, while you do this, you're gonna to continue to make money. So for me and my personal experience, I was making six figures year after year and also starting to buy my first property, which then I rented out and bought another property. So now I'm having a couple pieces of real estate, making six figures year over year and letting those pieces of real estate appreciate and gain equity so again becoming a millionaire and and what your net worth is is just all your assets minus your liabilities that's your net worth so when someone says i'm a millionaire it doesn't mean they have a million dollars cash it could mean they have a million dollars in real estate and zero dollars in their bank account technically they'd be considered a millionaire so this could be a, a, an easy just laid out path for you starting a business saving up money in the next three years to put down on a property continue to work and make money in your business and just start purchasing properties. This isn't the only way to become a millionaire, obviously, but this is just my path. This is what I know. This is what I'd hope other people can learn and start to do for yourself. Let your money work for you. A really big aspect around all of this is who you surround yourself with, your peers, your friends, the people you spend time with. I really try to emphasize spending my time with people that are not only encouraging, but also on the same path in terms of wanting to level up, wanting to grow their, their life with their family, friends, faith, and with their finances. So if you're not around people that are uplifting you, bringing you up and on the same trajectory, unfortunately, it's gonna bring you down. So big thing is make sure that you network with the right people and that you surround yourself with the right people that can not only motivate you, but also mentor you on this journey. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a carpenter, a tradesman, someone in the industry. And I want you to know that that industry, the trades, is not now just the middle class America industry. You can really become a successful powerhouse being in the trades, owning your own business, and it's no longer a blue collar world. We can make a lot of money being in the trades and making a difference in our life. You can do this. Surround yourself with the right people, start a business, start investing in the right things that are gonna allow you to acquire assets. You have no excuse to start now that being said, check out this video on my first house flipping mistakes.